Find the surface area and volume of a pentagonal pyramid. So, uh, the surface area. The, the triangles are going to be the easy part. The pentagon is going to be the hard part. So let's take a look at the pentagon. If we look at all the... This is a regular pentagon. And if we look at all these triangles in here, all those triangles are the same. And each of those angles there is the same. And there are going to be five of them as I go around. And 360 divided by 5 gives us an angle of 72 degrees. So this angle is 72 degrees. All those angles are 72. Which means each of these is 36 degrees. So to find the area, uh, we know that this is 18. What we need is the apothem. Uh, well, this is not a 30, 60, 90. We can't use that trick. We have to use trigonometry, which means we're going to have to round no matter what in our final answer. Uh, we can tell that this will be half. It'll be 9, and there's my apothem, which is what I need to find the area. The area of a regular polygon is 1 half the apothem times the perimeter. So let's find that. 36 degrees, 9 is the opposite. A is the adjacent, opposite and adjacent is tangent. The tangent of 36 degrees is equal to the opposite 9 over the adjacent A. So if we put cross multiply and put the tangent of 36 over 1, it's going to be A times the tangent of 36 degrees equals 9. I'm trying to find the apothem. I'll divide by the tangent of 36 degrees. I was about to punch this in the calculator, but remember I said, do not round until your final answer. So we're just going to leave this as 9 over the tangent of 36 degrees. Now we're ready to go. So, the area, the total area of all the faces added together is the pentagon, which is one half times the apothem, nine divided by the tangent of 36, times the perimeter. And the perimeter is five times 18, which is 90. Plus, I have five triangles. So I've got 5 times 1 half base times height. The base is 18. It's right there of every triangle. And the height is what they give you in this case. The slant height it is 19. So now we can punch all this in the calculator. And you can use Desmos.com. But just a reminder, uh, if you use Desmos, you need to click on the little toolbar icon and change it from radians to degrees. Radians are another way to measure angles, and for some reason, Desmos defaults to radians. Probably because it, radians are using graphing, and it's a graphing calculator. So I'll put this in the calculator. And round to the nearest tenth. And I get 1,412.4. This is area, so it would be yards squared. Now the volume. We have a new pentagonal pyramid here, and they give us the height of the pyramid. That's H. And they give us the base edge. So we know the volume is one-third area of the base times the height. So we have to find the area of the base. Well, we just did this. Reminder that each of these triangles has an angle near the center of the pentagon that is 72 degrees. And so in this one, these are each 36. And this is the apothem, what we need to find the area of the pentagon. We know the base edge is 30. 
it's on the picture, which means this one is 15. And just like the last problem, it's opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of 36 is 15 over A. And we'll cross multiply. 15 equals A times the tangent of 36. And we'll divide both sides by the tangent of 36. And our apothem is 15 divided by the tangent of 36. Now we can find the volume. The volume is one third area of the base. Now the base is a pentagon. The area of a regular polygon. The area is one half the apothem times the perimeter. So I'll do one third the area of the base times the height. One third the area of the base, which is one half the apothem times the perimeter. And the perimeter is 30 times 5, so 150. So 1 half the apothem times the perimeter. And, and we got 1 third area of the base times the height. And the height of the prism is right there. It was 15. I'll enter all this in the calculator and I get 7,742.1 to the nearest tenth and that would be cubic inches or inches cubed.